Hello, and welcome back to the Rich Mind Podcast. And today, let's talk about giving versus getting. And we're going to talk about how there are certain basic, simple processes that you can put in place in your life. They're not going to cost you a thing. And if you do this, if you get in the habit of giving versus having the energy of trying to get all the time, you're going to see some significant changes in your life. And that's exactly what I've done. So that's why I want to share this message with you today. So a lot of times we get hung up out there in life thinking that we need to go get, get things, get money, get relationships, get a job, get, you, you put whatever term you want to put on the, the word get, uh, get blank, right? We need to get, that's kind of what, in my opinion, that's what uh, we're fed to believe uh, as we're growing up is that we don't have things. We don't have the stuff that we want. So we have to go get it. And so let's flip that a little bit. So you hear all the time, or at least I did growing up that, you know, giving starts the receiving process, right? That's just kind of a phrase, a generic phrase that uh, I've heard, I've heard a lot. And so maybe you have as well. So, but what does that, what does that mean? So you can use it in terms of money, right? So people always are wanting or needing or feeling like they don't have enough money. But here's the thing is that a lot of times if you're stuck in that belief that you don't have enough and that you need to go get more, but you're not willing to give what you have, there's a conflict there. And hopefully you can kind of see that distinction. There's just a small conflict thinking that I'm going to hang on to what I have but then I need to go get more of it. And that's where the disconnect comes in. It's a free flow back and forth. And it's not that you wastefully just throw money around and you're just giving it to anybody and everything, but you're consciously making the decision to give it to certain organizations. You can give it one thing that I always uh, try to do that I would encourage you to think about as well. And it's a simple thing. When you're out and you receive great service at a restaurant, tip the begin to get in the habit of tipping your server more than what the quote unquote standard is uh, here in uh, I'm in Indiana. One of the standard is usually 20% of the total bill. Get in the habit of giving 30%, 40%, 50%, especially if they've given you fantastic service, right? Get in the habit of giving more than the norm. And you will start developing that habit. uh, And then you're going to start opening up the ability for you to start to receive more. Uh, That's money flows through other people. Uh, You think that it, uh, you know, you go to a job and that job is going to just give you money and that you're going to get money from the job. And that is not necessarily it. I get the I I understand the function of a job, right? You go to work, you perform a task and you receive a paycheck. But if you start thinking through it and start thinking of it differently, that you go to work to give, to give of your your services, right? To give of your skills, you will then begin to see opportunities even within that position to possibly even earn more money. You will then raise yourself to a, a higher level within your organization and your company. Remember, sales is where money is generated. If you're not selling yourself or your products or your services, then you're not, you're going to be limited to the amount of money that you can generate back into yourself. Now, if you're doing that at a job, you can still sell yourself through your services, right? To your organization or to your company to then, because of the value you're going to bring to the, to the business, you will then generate the potential to earn more income in that business. So I know we've talked a little bit about money here so far, but here are some simple things that just get in the habit of giving more than what you're expected to get. Just get yourself in that habit. I will tell you that I've tried to do this myself and that anytime that I find myself getting out of this habit, uh, the biggest example that I can give is with my wife. When I feel like my wife and I are in a little bit of a uh, little bit of a conflict. We've been married and together almost 30 years, married 28 almost, and uh, working on 30 years being together. And so we've had our ups and downs, right? We've had uh, great times and we've had some rough times. And any time lately, as I've done the internal work of figuring out why are we having a little bit of 
friction or why are we having a little bit of issues? It's typically because I'm in the getting mindset. I feel like I need to get something from her versus me continuing to focus on giving to her and that simple flip. So when I realize that and I can flip it, I've gotten to the point now where I can flip it very quickly and then everything changes again. So when I give to her, I give the love that she needs. I give the, uh, the compliments. I give the, uh, the encouragement that she needs to live her life. When I give to her, she reflects that back to me, giving it back to me, whether she even realizes it or not. Because I'm willing to give to her, then I'm able to then receive. And that happens with your money. That can happen with your relationships. That can happen with every facet of your life. And it really is boils down to focusing on giving versus getting and it's, it's really an energy. It's really a decision. It's really just a mindset shift that if you can really get yourself behind that, you can really see some, dif- some significant changes in your life. So some of the other smaller things that, once again, these are not going to cost you a thing, but they will definitely begin to improve uh, your, your life, right? At least they have for me. And so you can give things as small as a smile. When you're approaching folks out there in your world, right, whether it's at work or whether it's at a store, wherever you are, you're going to be encountering folks everywhere you go. Get in the habit of smiling at people and you're giving them a smile. You can give people a compliment. You can, and it just a nice, it's your energy, right? It's how you show up. You're going to give them a positive experience. And I will promise you that sometimes you do it. And I, cause this is my experience. You'll do that to folks and they're, they're like, they're not used to it. They're not, they don't know what to do with it. They're not sure how to act, but I would say maybe 50%, maybe 70% of the time you will get that re- you reciprocated back to you, right? You'll get a smile back. You'll get a compliment back. You'll get a sincere, hello, how are you? You know, you'll get a, you can start a conversation. Sometimes conversations start coming out of me just showing up with different energy of giving energy versus getting energy. You'll be surprised that when you get out of the mindset that you need to keep thinking that you need to get, that you need to get uh, people to like you, you need to get people to give you money, you need to get your company to give you stuff. That's not how it works out there in reality. And that, once again, if you just focus on the small things, give some people, some, somebody a smile, you can give somebody a compliment. You can give somebody your attention, just lending an ear. I've had times where uh, friends will just need to vent or they just need to uh, share some of their experiences that are going on in their life and they just need somebody to listen. And that's giving. And it's not because I'm expecting anything in return. But what has happened in my past is that as I've been willing to do those things for other people, then other people are willing to do the same thing, if not more, for me in return, maybe in the future. Right. And so it's like you just need to build up your giving account, build up your giving, 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 give. Where can I give? Where can I give more people uh, some joy, some happiness? Uh, Send somebody a message. Uh, I just recently just recorded a short little video of telling somebody that I love them and just expressed that how much I hope they have a fantastic day. And I look forward to seeing them again. It took me 30, 40 seconds total to shoot this short little video. And it's not that I'm doing it to get anything. But what I do know is that as I give that person some encouragement, uh, hopefully it'll brighten their day a little bit, that they will go out and then and perform better in what their task is. And then when they do that, they will then begin to reflect that back onto me sometime in the future as well. Get in the habit of giving. And it doesn't necessarily have to cost you anything but a little bit of, sometimes it's a little bit of creativity. Sometimes it's just being aware of the situation that you're in and you can really impact somebody else's life. And when you do that, I promise you, it's going to be reflected back and it's going to impact your life positively in the future. So hopefully you found this message valuable. Uh, The idea of giving versus getting. I know a lot of times we get stuck in the belief and the thinking of money, right? We're always stuck in, I need to get more money. I need to get this. I need to get that. Somebody needs to give me, you know, it's give me this, which means you need to get it from somebody else. When in, you flip that and focus on giving first, start with the basics, uh, start with giving a little bit more of a tip when it's time to uh, thank somebody for providing the service to you. 
Get in the habit of doing that more often. Uh, get in the habit of smiling at folks, waving at folks, making eye contact, wishing somebody a fantastic day. The basics. Get really good at the basics. And if you do that, the larger, bigger, more impactful things in your life are going to start showing up. And that's when it starts to get to be really fun. So go out there, look to give more. I'm hoping that I'm able to give more to you through these episodes of the Rich Mind Podcast. And hopefully you'll be able to take this information and apply it into your life. And if so, if you would mind sharing it with your family and friends, I would greatly appreciate that. If you would also go to the podcast platform of your choice and leave me a review for the podcast, I would greatly appreciate that as well as I look to help, uh, look to hope to help as many people as I possibly can with the things that I'm learning and applying into my life and then it's obviously impacted me in my surroundings and I hope it can help you as well. So go out there, have a fantastic day, focus on being great and I look forward to bringing back the next message to you again very soon. Until then, thanks. Bye-bye.